I invited people to all sorts of programs and spaces and coachings and whatever, and they could pay zero if they wanted to. And they still would participate in what I gifted them. But they decided to not give zero and instead give 15K collectively. late night slash early morning editing setup there is one story that we filmed that we, that we started to film yesterday that I didn't tell in yesterday's video and I want to connect on that very fascinating for me just had a beautiful conversation with Adi the guy who is showing us around like his friend is the owner of the land and uh, we talked about bamboo architecture and we learned that and this was a really moment we learned that he worked in bamboo architecture before and like every time i see these beautiful beautiful bamboo buildings that are very 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 uh, present here in bali like bali feels like the the mecca of uh, of bamboo architecture you only see them in the in the lower regions where it's less humid all right and it finished for today <laughs> the sun is already there i'm sitting here in my night outfit night is very cold sitting here in a in a beautiful beautiful little bamboo shala made out of the most sustainable and in my opinion most beautiful building material but in elevations like these we are 800 meters above sea level bamboo buildings are quite rare they are much more common when you are in the south of Bali where it's less humid, more tropical. There are like insane, insane bamboo buildings. And the reason for that might be that in elevations like these, look at that, full of mold. Like this whole bamboo pillar is full of mold. You don't want that in your home. Pancakes, Leo. Pancakes. Yeah. Yeah, pancakes. Oh, it looks oh, this looks amazing, huh? Yeah. Here it is. Here it is, yeah. Here it is. It's so hard, friends. Today we drove to the beach, Chenggu, one of the main tourist hotspots here in Bali. I don't understand why most people prefer to be here instead of the cool, fresh mountains where we are. And yeah, I lived in this place for three years ago, most of the time when I was in Bali and I liked it. And now I don't like it anymore. Something strange. Yeah. This is one of the places when people talk about that Bali got too crowded, too touristy. This is it. Busy, loud. Yeah. moment I thought about not continuing this video and just start over tomorrow <laughs> because I'm sitting in the loud cafe in the middle of Changu and I want to share so much but I'm so unhappy with the setting it's so loud and it's like I don't have so much time in half an hour we we will go with the family and we have some nice evening plans and yeah when I compare that to the last video, which I liked a lot, I don't like this one. And then again, there was this moment of it's part of the journey. Don't judge. It's authentic. This is 
how this <laughs> the camera dies. This is how today looks like. I got up in the morning. I wanted to talk about bamboo architecture because I thought that we will go to a space here in Changu, which is an amazing piece of bamboo architecture, but we didn't. Then I realized continuing to share about this topic doesn't make a lot of sense because I cannot show anything. Then I realized what I really want to show today is my financial update of the second quarter of 2024. But this is something that I didn't introduce in the morning and now it's like out of the blue, but yeah. This is how it is. So let's talk about finance. When I shared the last financial update, I wasn't even doing this vlog. So I did it back in the back in the days in my podcast. I'll link the episode in the show notes below if you are interested why I'm doing that and how the first quarter of 2024 went. So without further ado, let's jump into the second quarter and how my crazy experiment with the gift economy of like giving everything away and still having to pay for a lot of expenses as we all do. Does it even work in practice? Let's dive in. The second quarter of 2024 marks the moment where I officially stopped doing business. The revenue through creating and selling products and services in the second quarter was around 2000 euro. So yeah, I wouldn't be able to even survive in my little 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 wooden hut here in the mountains of Bali with that. But I received an inflow of gifts of almost 15,000 euro. Which is quite humbling and quite mind blowing for me. 15,000 euro people wanted to give me. People that didn't need to give me that. There could be a zero. I invited people to all sorts of programs and spaces and coachings and whatever and they could pay zero if they wanted to and they still would participate in what I gifted them but they decided to not give zero and instead give 15k collectively <laughs> in just three months of course when I compare that to what I did in the past like seven figure revenue numbers over a year and so on of course this is like tiny compared to that but for me the trend like is really what I'm fascinated about because I see it working I see like people really wanting to give I see I, I really I, I sense that this is a tiny tiny plant and it can grow into a huge a huge tree. I sense that. I sense that this could be the future of doing business, of putting your products and service out there for just serving. I sense that. And people show me that. I'm able to, of course, not pay for my full expenses, as you see, uh, second quarter 2024 um, was characterized by spending much more than it was coming in. Over 6,000 euros were used for repayments of um, people who are still in, uh, in a deficit with the uh, Thrive Village uh, past. And 2,300 euros were paid for the team. Another 9k for other business expenses and almost 6k, around 2,000 euros a month for me and my family and the basic living expenses. So of course this is far away from a really well working enterprise but this is not what is important right now we are just starting we're just starting out with this completely new paradigm with this completely new approach of of working of serving of putting your sacred work out there and I'm very happy with the second quarter. I'm immensely grateful for all those beautiful souls who gifted me almost 15,000 euro in three months. That's a 
incredible. It's really, really incredible. And it inspires me to put out there even more and to serve even more and to like continue on this path of the gift economy of just putting my gifts out there. And still, the path ahead is long. There are still many people who are waiting for their repayments and the 6,300 euros what we issued over the past three months are almost a drop on the hot stone. And still, it's a very good step in the right direction. Yeah. And since the third quarter has already started, I'm a little bit late this time because of really, really dynamic situation the past weeks. Many things were going on. I didn't took the time to fully crunch the numbers, something that I did in the meantime. So I already know a little bit of quarter three. Trend is continuing really nicely, but I will share more about that in October when the third quarter has ended on my experiment of living in the gift fully and still making a living in the world that we live in. Welcome to the shuttle uh, bus. Papa! Yeah. Hi. Shuttle bus, huh? I got you. Evening immersion for the first time into Nuanu. Nuanu is a creative city that was built or is getting built right now from scratch like I think they bought 30 or 40 hectares of beachfront prime location <laughs> land I don't know how they managed to do that and like they're doing everything here of course there's food there is music there's art there's education there's a school there's like sports and exhibitions and treatments and like almost everything it's just getting started this project um, fascinating truly fascinating and we spontaneously are attending an ecstatic dance here that we stumbled upon this morning when we came here for the first time and nobody was here <laughs> we we're like the only scooter on the parking and realized we are a little bit too early <laughs> nothing is going on and this evening the third the third session it's really like just starting just starting and uh, yeah, they already created quite a quite an extraordinary place. When even like the the little corner restaurant looks like this, you know you're in a special place. <laughs> excited, excited for everything to come. Remembering her life and always smiling, remembering her, sharing cacao until she was 100 years old together. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mama. Wir essen jetzt einen Original Berliner Döner. <lacht> Was sagst du dazu? Was? <lacht> Berlin Style Kebab in the making. Just for us. No, no, no. He's from Berlin. He brought the kebab to to Bali. Really? Thanks, Matthias. Nice. Oh yes, please look at that. Leo's first döner. Da müssen wir kurz einmal hier reinzoomen. So. Okay, die sind bereit. Hau rein, dein erster Döner. Warte, warte. This guy here, Matthias, he's from Berlin, moved to Bali nine years ago. And he brought the original Berlin kebab <laughs> to Bali. <laughs> and it's my first kebab since, I don't know, 15 years. From Nuanu to Jetty Louis. What a day. What a day. It was a really nice evening. Enjoying the ecstatic dance. Enjoying <laughs> the vegan version of the German kebab. Yeah. 
And we even got the bamboo architecture. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Two little stories to round off today's episode. First, Adi, our um, local guide here who showed us the land that uh, fascinates me a lot. Um, he said that in the lower regions, like you can build those beautiful pieces of bamboo architecture like the like the place that we saw at Muano um, or many of the other incredible pieces of architecture that you see in Bali if you build them properly and you treat the bamboo nicely they can last for 30 years and up here if you treat them well they can last for 15 years because of the high humidity and the um, increased rain, which is still 15 years. It's a long time. And all those places where it's moldy and so on, like the bamboo is not, not treated. Right? You can avoid that, he said, which is very fortunate because I, I love this style. And I love the, like, I love the fact that it's the most sustainable building material in the whole world because it's gross it grows so super fast yeah <clears throat> yeah and it for me connects nicely to to living in the gift <laughs> to dedicating my life to to service and to put my gifts out there and receive gifts in return like the bamboo plant feels like a like an incredible gift from Mother Gaia. Like we, we are gifted with this plant that grows so fast and is like more, more strong than steel and at the same time earthquake, earthquake resistant and won't break because it's so flexible and like this feels like a tremendous gift. <sighs> yeah. And receiving gifts, be it in this form or in the form of money, always inspires me to give more. And then I receive more and then I give more and I step into the cycle of life. Hmm. Feels beautiful. Thank you for our shared journey today. I see you tomorrow. <laughs>